I'm going to create a graphical user interface for the face that we can kind of control to animate the expressions, also referred to as a GUI, a GUI. Okay, so before I do that, I can see that our character is doing some crazy yoga right now. Okay, and these movements are just kind of a test for the extremes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and select all uh, the wrist control and the feet control. And then I'm going to, from frame 40, I'm going to hold down shift and drag this way. And it's important that I do that because I want them to end in T-pose. And then right click and go to delete. I want to delete all those keyframes. Then I'm also going to click on this joint here and do the same thing. Hold down shift and drag backwards, right click and delete. Okay, great. Now, if I scrub through, I can see that there's no keyframes on this character. Um, and now I'm ready to kind of start constructing the GUI. Now, once again, why do we need the GUI? Well, I feel like if I go to my shape editor, window animation editor, shape editor, we have these expressions. Remember, okay, here's the eye, the other eye, um, this face, you know, this open. I feel like it's interesting, like this open and the mouth open. I'll kind of talk about that uh, later. Okay, there's angry, here's smile. So, um, and then here's the eye controls. So I think what I'm gonna do is start building some face controls here. So to do that, I can go like this. I can go to NURBS primitive and I can create circles and squares. And now if I create a square, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kind of scale this up like this and rotate this 90 degrees. One thing that's kind of weird in Maya that you'll notice is that if I make a square, you can see that it has separate lines and they can become detached. So I could select all of these lines and go to curves and I'm going to, let's say, uh, attach. I'm gonna to go to the options here. I'm gonna connect it, and I'm gonna hit uncheck keep original and hit attach. Now I can see that there it's all one solid. Okay, square, actually, hold on. So it looks like, uh, so they kind of attached. Okay, so kind of weird, but I feel like we people won't be selecting on this anyway. Whoa, if I go control vertex, let me see. Okay. Let, let me try attaching that again. So if I go to um, attach, okay, and I think I might just kind of grab this control vertex here. Let's see, pull this over. There we go. Now I could scale this. Okay, a little messy. I feel like a little unnecessarily cumbersome, but um, that's okay. I'm going to put this next to the face like this. And um, this is where I'm going to create my face controls. Okay, so maybe. I'm going to duplicate that, control D, and then I'm going to make some sliders in here. Okay, so, and you could be creative, you could do this however you want. Um, I'll just do maybe a few different sliders here. So maybe I'll do control D. And what's nice is that um, once you have the square made, you don't have to um, keep reattaching them because they're already done there. Okay, now. I think I'll also kind of pull this a little bit further away like that. And now I'm going to put some NURBS circles in there. And rotate this up 90 degrees. And these are going to be kind of our switches uh, that we're going to make for the face. 
and those switches will kind of go like on, it'll kind of be like an on off or I guess more like a blend. Okay. And then I'll kind of do control D control D. Okay. Awesome. And maybe I'll make one more. So maybe I'll take both of these control D. There we go. And now I might want to say to the animators that these are my face controls. So I can go like this. I can go create type and I can go to the type tab and I'm going to call this face controls. Okay. And geometry, I'm going to say create curves from type if, because you can see here they are. I'll just hit create curves. And now I have the curves here and I can scale that down. There we go. Face controls. And I can delete this face controls down here. I don't need that, right? Um, and then maybe I want, if I look at what I have set up here, so if I go into my animation shape editor, I can see that I have, um, looks like the eyes are important. I could say, um, maybe I have one of these for the smile, um, one of them for angry, one of them for, you know, mouth open, and then maybe like eyes shut. Okay, so let's say something like that. So maybe I go to create type, and this time I type in smile, and create curves. I'll just go ahead and move it up here for now, and I'll kind of scale them all the same size maybe. And then I'll go to create type um, angry, All right, and then I have, what else do I have? I'll do open. And then I'll say the last one, I'll say um, blink. Okay, excellent. So now we'll delete that. Now I've got my um, things here. So you can see that I can um, grab these one at a time or I could go like this, press up. If I select one letter and then press the up arrow, it's gonna select the group. So I'm gonna do that. And now I can scale that, maybe rotate that 90 degrees. And Probably better, good idea to look at this from the orthographic front. There we go. And smile, you're on camera, right? Okay. Now here we go. Angry. 90 degrees. Open, once again, select one and then press the up arrow. Okay, and this is obviously not the only way to set this up, right? I mean, you can get really creative with this. Um, I feel like this is just meant to kind of show you the foundation, the fundamental, you know, the ideas behind it. And then you can kind of expand upon this idea. Um, okay, great. So I feel like we've got our GUI in place. And um, next, I'm going to talk about doing the set driven keys to control the, um, the face.